I did not believe this news until I actually took a look at these pictures and had my second thoughts on this. Now, obviously, you will e easily miss it. If you just see these pictures, you will miss it. Miss what? Miss this. Take a look at this. Uh, these are decoration that would give the impression to people that uh, a king is sitting in front of it. And this is the backdrop. This is what impression you get. Take a look at this. Uh, these are all decoration that Megan wanted. And she actually forced, uh, according to one report, the actual staff. She said to her, you need to decorate this stage in such, a way, in such a way so that people will actually see and think and believe that I am actually the queen. Uh, round of applause. <laughs> I'm the queen. And this is exactly what she tried to accomplish here according to this report. I'll actually read you in more details. But before I do that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing because good things will happen if you subscribe. Just kidding. But <laughs> subscribe. So let's take a look at this report because I find this to be absolutely amazing. So actual stuff, this is the bombshell, that said that Megan actually forced them to decorate the stage look like a throne. Yes, this is uh, what Megan wanted to make it look like a throne. You know, the sitting of a of a king in front of a, on a, on a throne, and proclaiming decreeing orders. <laughs> Megan was wanted same vibe coming from this. Um, sit in the center of the hello uh, spikes. Earlier this week, we reported on the news that Harry Megan would be returning to New York. I mean, this is the old news. According to this report, they're saying that they have reported, okay, we know Megan and Harry, they, will, they, they were in New York. I'm not sure if they left New York or not. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm not really uh, seeing that they have left. If they have left, they would be using most likely private jet. So think about this, like 20 cars. Absolutely no reason for that. So going back to California, I think they're going to just pollute the environment even more using private jet. This is what they do. Un unexpected controversy that uh, angered some high profile residents of Manhattan. Speaking to, uh, sorry, speaking on GB News, Ray branded the pair clowns in a scathing rant as Megan boasted, as Megan boasted that she used or she was escorted by a seven core convoy for a 200 feet journey he hold uh, he told patrick christie's it's an utter fuss we all know what happened in may when they claimed that they were um, you know being chased by car and there was this catas catastrophic car chase oh my god this is unbelievable so what happened this time let's talk about this uh, particular news so what happened is that they obviously returned back to new york they were there and uh, Meghan Markle, okay, the the staffer from the actual foundation, she actually exposed Meghan Markle, and I mean, because of this kind of report, now we can see what is happening behind closed doors. So, what happened is that they had an almost car chase, turned out not to be true ridiculousness. Okay, so the on the stage of the project, healthy minds, a source. So this is coming from a source called. Uh, project Healthy Minds. So they are claiming that Meghan Markle, uh, she forced or bullied this uh, staffer. They said close to Artwell, so this uh, source is close to Artwell, staff said that Meghan forced the staff to set up the stage to look like she was sitting on the throne. According to the script, the background behind a seat must be similar to the background where kings sit. Meanwhile, a chair must be arranged in the center of the stage. Other speakers, including Prince Harry, would sit on either side of on either side. The entire stage must be decorated in you know in a big stone. I don't know what does that mean. But there was like certain color that she she asked the staffer to use. Uh, indeed, when we watch the video of the summit, we see it's a quasi throne with an with a actual lines like some kind of uh, hello saint decoration around her head. She sits there, and all eyes are on her. Uh, you know, actual branding 
and obviously I want to actually talk about the actual branding uh, here because uh, it came up right now so behind these uh, pictures when you sit when you take a closer look at this you see actual foundation actual foundation uh, they did not donate anything really I mean yes they maybe have they have probably donated a little bit minuscule amount of money but why are they promoting why Megan is promoting and Harry is promoting this actual foundation for what what they have done they have done really nothing so you if you take a closer look it is all about them it is not about people who are suffering from mental health it is all about actual it is all about Megan Harry their brand it is all about me 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 like they come to New York and then you see them using you know seven convoys of cars just to travel 200 feet this is about them this is not about any before anybody else everything coordinated tightly everything all for the PR the publicity the promotion the money making the self regarding image of her as a saint as a quasi queen she wants to sit in front of the hello spikes two men uh, to the side of her like of her like as if guarding her honor like go the outside of the halo spikes she is like queen holding court in her own mind she is truly deranged and has um, his sonic personality or narcissistic personality disorder many people believe that prince harry's wife is copying the photo of william so next uh, i want to actually talk about this too when you have seen uh, prince william coming to new york he got obviously royal treatment um, from the New Yorkers and also from the city itself. Megan, I mean, take a look at this picture, right? Megan Markle, she would not let that go, let you know, let that pass just like that and not create an impact, not, not do something about this. So when she came to New York, she was in her mind thinking, I need to somehow um, do it better than uh, William. And it should appear to the public that New York they themselves welcome Harry Megan the way they did and so she asked this staffer okay from Archwell that you need to do something about this you need to decorate my stage you know where I'll be sitting in such a way that will create an impact in the minds of people that I am actually a queen too quasi queen as, as this uh, report is suggesting it is obvious that Meghan Markle, she had something very, very bad in her mind. It was about competing with Prince William. Now, I want to actually uh, talk ab more about this, uh, another particular news. So basically, you have seen what happened or what is happening in uh, Palestine, in, in Israel, right? So William and Catherine, they made a statement about the situation in the Middle East. And I was like, okay, so this is what they said. But what I was not expecting and what caught me off guard and very, very surprising uh, to me was that they, Meghan Harry, they also came up with their own statements. Like, who are you guys? You do not represent anybody other than yourself and nobody cares about you. You do not represent a firm or a or institution. You do not represent anybody. Why are you guys making yourself look like an, you know, stupid, uh, unwanted people? These people are distraction. Instead of us solving this problem in the Middle East and elsewhere in the world, now we have to be distracted because of those tweets Megan and Harry posted supporting oh this and that and then we're gonna change the world I mean who cares why are you guys doing this well the reason I know why you know why because they cannot let you know William and Catherine tweet about the current situation in the world and Megan and Harry just keeping it quiet no they're not gonna let that happen so this is exactly why uh, they came up with this tweet talking about the situation in the Middle East like how much you even know Honestly, Meghan Markle, how much do you even know about the Middle East? Harry made it even worse for the British people when he talks about Taliban and all that. Doesn't need to do that. But they cannot shut their mouth. Every time they see you know, William and Catherine doing something, they have to do it. It's like kids. Um, when you take the, you know, the milk away from them, uh, they start crying. These are the same uh, people. They, they act like kids. William, with a with a blue placard behind him. So this is where the uh, the stage was set for William and Catherine. Uh, you know, with this placard, and so they tried to copy Meghan and Harry. They tried to copy exactly how William 
when he came to New York, was being treated by the New Yorkers. Obviously, the New Yorkers, they were very excited to see William, but when they came to New York, uh, everybody just uh, kept it quiet because they said, quote, unquote, don't care. So Prince, um, uh, you know, William and Harry, they received that kind of uh, um, adoration from New Yorkers, but Meghan and Harry, they received nothing uh, for that, for who they are. I have some comments there, Mary Jane Small. Thank you, guys. Sherry. Um, and Barb and Anne, I have some comments, Marion. Thank you guys, Lynn, thank you so much for your comments. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.